and welcome to yet another exciting episode with myself, Dumili Twenyo, on Truth Talk. Today we have one of South Africa's greatest choreographers in our studio with us today, in his element, David Mandela. Hello. Hello. This is Truth Talk, so all we want uh, is the truth. truth. Talk. Yes. yes. More that. depth here, yeah. you know, more relevant with what people actually want to know, you know, deeper. Because most of the people think that as artists, you know, as yeah. celebrated artists, we're yeah. just living in this cloud nine and, you know, we don't have challenges and we don't have a history. Yeah, that's yeah. True. so now we just want to know who is David Matamel? Uh, David Matamel, I get out here to I want to go to the Yeah, and then, <laughs> so uh, I'm a dance teacher yes. and also a choreographer, and I like coming up with concepts and ideas for people or for uh, event companies and all that, so that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really a nice field, you know, ah, in yes. dancing, and uh -huh. you know, it's fantastic. I love it, you know. Wow, thanks to David. That's, uh, uh, you know, it's something that drives me, you know. Uh -huh. So I'm driven by passion of, you know, mm -hmm. movement, you know. Tell us with that yeah. drive, with the very same drive, tell us where were you born? Sure. Born, yes, yes. Hey, sir. Nah, get to that book as Middlelands. I was born in Middlelands huh? and then I grew up in Deep Loof, uh, Zone 5. Yeah. Tell us, I'm a family. little guy. I'm yes, born. no, we can. Kind of, <laughs> funny enough, I'm also from Middlelands. I was born in Middlelands <laughs> Clinic as well, you know. And um, we just want to know, yeah. family, how many are you? Do you have siblings? How many are you as a family? Uh, family, hey, you know, sometimes I don't like getting into the family side when I'm in the dancing side. Oh, there we go. But uh, family, I have um, uh, two sisters uh -huh. and one brother. Fantastic oh. people, very supportive. Yes. And a beautiful mother. You know, my mom, she's the best lady ever. You know, I wish the world was ruled by women. I think we won't have all this terrible Viva, things that David, happen, yes. you know? because uh, <laughs> women understand most of the things mm -hmm. you know and they have the compassion the love and they're always happy you know if, even though some are miserable <laughs> but you know there's that uh, joyful compassionate mm -hmm. uh, feeling in them you know wow. and i kind of like love that you know and my mom hey, she, hey? Love. she's one of yeah, when yes. you say greatest, yes. she's the greatest. Oh wow, there we go. Yeah. So listen, you've been talking about a lot of love, love, love going yeah. on. What are your dreams and aspirations? Uh, dreams. What, what are your dreams? Yes. Uh, right now, I dream kind of like weird dreams. You know? Okay. Uh, but I don't have uh, any kind of like uh, future dreams of, Ish, I wish this and that. Mm -hmm. Nah, you know, I just go with the moment mm -hmm. and go with the flow mm -hmm. and where the energy draws me, you mm -hmm. know, where the energy takes me. And with that, you know, it's kind of like really flowing nicely, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like a stream of water just going ah. through and going into mm -hmm. the river, you know. And it's uh, what I'm at right now, you know, mm -hmm. the flow. Ah, uh, before, you know, I was like, Ish, I dream to have this, I dream <laughs> to do this. And yeah. meantime, actually, one can live your dream, you know. So I'm mm -hmm. living the dream that, you know, I, exactly. I'm creating, you know? Exactly. Dancing, dancing, mm -hmm. choreography. So tell us with living your dream, yeah. how many of your dreams yeah. or aspirations or goals that you've achieved ever you were ever since you were that little boy uh, aspiring to be a dancer, to be you know, to be a choreographer, has any of it materialized to a point where you'd say that you know what, I've had a goal ever since I was a child and this is what I've achieved. What uh, is funny that? enough I never had a goal. Wow. And I never had a, a dream of becoming something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, how, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But things just started happening. Mm -hmm. And you know, by those things happening, it's like, you know, create now, mm -hmm. you'll see the rest, you know. And with uh, uh, starting dancing, go, go um, uh, Orlando. Ah, you know? okay. Uh, <laughs> ah, you know? yes, uh, yes. And uh, started the youth. Uh, a vigorous dance uh, uh -huh. group, you know, when we're still young, yes. you know, like, hey, vigorous, yeah, vigorous, yeah, vigorous yeah, yeah. Yes. traditional dance, yes. you know. And so for now, uh, uh, it was a thing that was just driving, you know, that passion. And it's a, uh, it became a journey, mm -hmm. you know. Wow. And a, a very sad, happy, exciting uh, journey, yes. you know. And uh, goal, I never seen that. Oh, this is my goal. No, okay. I just went. Whatever okay. came in my head or being at the in right my place emotion, at the right being time. at the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. you just go for it. You just work, 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 work. 
Wow, David. And even today, I'm still working. Uh, th know? There we go. I mean, you've and just finished I'm enjoying class. it. Yes. And today, I've, uh, I've just enjoyed teaching mm -hmm. wonderful uh, four dancers, mm -hmm. you know, yes. and which is great. And mm -hmm. for me, even if it's one person, yes. it's a blessing already. Wow. You know? So tell us, on that element of blessings and yeah. one person, who or what is your source? What, yeah, where do you draw from? Hey. Yeah, that's a deep question. <laughs> Truth talk. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I think, you know, uh, for me, you know, it's been an energy. Mm -hmm. Something just comes from nowhere. Mm -hmm. I, I'll say maybe it's an invisible energy that okay. we don't see. It's this energy. Mm -hmm. Some might say uh, God mm -hmm. or Jesus mm -hmm. or Allah mm -hmm. or this or that, you know. So, but for me, it's just an energy, mm -hmm. an energy that has been traveling through me, you know, and things has just been coming in, you know. I think also by having compassion and passion for what you do, mm -hmm. everything just open up, wow. you know. So there's no stress or baggages or, mm -hmm. you know, worries, mm -hmm. or when am I going to eat tomorrow, or when am I going to do this, oh, I don't have money, yo, I need to have, you know what, just let it be. You know, so but David, knowingly you... that you know, this is what I'm doing every day. Hey, get dancer, get teacher, get a toy, get you know, and so uh, with that for me yes. has been a fantastic drive. You know, wow. even some moments mm -hmm. have been like sad moment where you didn't have anything. You know, you're like yo, we granny in gigi en, hey, you know, and then something, and then something up. comes up. On that note, mm -hmm. David, we also yeah. just want to take it a bit deeper. Yeah. Um, The most challenging year in your life. Yeah. This is where now you bear your soul. This is a segment that we call bear your soul. Yeah. What was the most challenging year in your life or a time in your life where, you know, where it was just heavy, where things were heavy, where you knew obviously because challenge comes before the break of dawn, before a new season, before a new door opens. Yeah. So what was that year, that significant uh, year? 2003, 2004 wow. was a really difficult year for me. Because I just decided, I Nike Royal dance. I said, "Can you know?" I just uh, created African footprint. Yes. And working with Deborah Cousin and other uh, co-directors of the mm -hmm. show, and things were really not where I thought they would be. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I was more. Uh, mm -hmm. King, you know, I say it more. We signing contracts, and meantime, you don't even aware of what you are signing. I was still like, you know, young chap, oh, excited, nice and yes. you know, being not aware of it. You know, you need to do this kind yes. of thing, sign, read, and all that. Yes. And because of that energy of excitement, you kita make it create a show, kita make it a show. Hey, I know, sharp, sharp. Hey, hunting ish. So now, you know, and then I just uh -huh. stopped. What did you I learn said, from that? Dancing. Because what, what I'm picking up is that normally when a season like that happens in one's life where yeah. you literally hate that which you love, yeah. that is when the seed needs to die. Because yeah. the seed that has been deposited in you yeah. was always dancing. Yeah. And other things, yeah. but dancing is the source. It's the core source of yeah. where everything emanates from yeah. in terms of your life, your direction. Yeah. So would you agree with me yeah. when we say that the, the seed had to die? Just like a flower. It, before it grew, definitely. It had to die. It had to just Let's go. Yeah, with that yes. seed, you know. And how did I came out of that darkness? Yes. It happened when I was at the, the bank. Yes. You know? And I was in line going to deposit money for my study. Yes. You know, to pay. Uh -huh. And uh, and a, a guy called Gavin to pay from Bomb Shelter. Ah. So tap me on my shoulder, I'm looking, I'm like, hey, he goes, hey, do you remember me? Like, yeah. You remember we did Tazan? Yes, 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 yeah, I remember. We did Tazan and chicken business, mm -hmm. choreographed chicken business uh -huh. and Tazan. Yes. You know, an international TV series, you know, mm -hmm. which became a TV series. Mm -hmm. And so we did season, yeah, season one and two, if I still remember, yes. of Tazan, mm -hmm. dancing there, doing some kind of a nice dance. And then he's like, uh, look, we've got an advert coming and uh, we're looking for a choreographer to come and choreograph. Are you still in the dance? In my heart, because I'm still in that dance, like, I, no, I am not going back here. I am. And then I was like, um, yeah, but not with confidence. No. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I still dance. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you choreograph? Can you still choreograph? I'm like, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, look, here's my number, give me a call. Uh, we're going to arrange a meeting, you come in, and then we'll sit, and then we can start working on the thing. Mm. And then I gave him a call, uh, it was 2005. Yes. Uh, yeah, five. Mm -hmm. And uh, towards the middle of the year. And then I gave him a call, we had a meeting, and then we discussed, so yeah, okay, APSA. Oh, gonna choreograph APSA. I'm like, yeah! You know, when they were introducing those uh, class, what, what, cards, savings cards, okay. uh, APSA. Yes. And I was like, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, I'll choreograph. I have no clue because I've stopped it yes. in the dancing. Yes, yes. And then we, from there, I never stopped, I've never looked back, mm -hmm. I just kept going. Wow, to today go. I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm still loving it. There it's, you go. it's like the light has just shined. It just Being went. in the right place at the right time. Yeah. That's where you were without even being aware. Yeah. So David, yeah. tell us of the most memorable shows that you've choreographed or have been a part of, apart from Tina Turner, of course, <laughs> and the <laughs> Alvin <laughs> Ailey School. Tell us what was the experience at Alvin Ailey. Alvin Ailey experience was one of the best experience because uh, it just opened my whole uh, dance for care. Yes. You know, doing Pantsola, Gambus, African dance, mm -hmm. and uh, African contemporary, you know, that became a whole new experience. Yes. You know, working on your technique, your posture, you know, how you must present yourself. Uh, and one of the best things that I've learned throughout my whole life, you know. Wow. Being humble and being compassionate, being passionate about what you do and be happy with what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. love what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know. And don't let anyone just make you go, hey, don't do this, you must go and do that. Yeah. <clears throat> Always follow your own gut, your own passion, mm -hmm. what drives you. Yes. Find something that drives you. Mm -hmm. Find something that makes you go, you know what, I'm going there, do it. You know, say it, live it, do it. So now you have you have been one of the lead dancers for Tina Turner, right? Uh, and you are and you got an opportunity to go study at New yeah. York's prestigious dance, which is Alvin Ailey. Yeah. You were the co-creator of African Footprint. Yeah. I mean, you've hey, headed. You mentioned you were headed um, <laughs> I remember you hired me for for Glow Cafe Awards where we did yes, that in Togo yes, in, yes, Norway, in Togo, you know, in Norway. and you also. Yes. You, you, you were a judge on So You Can Dance hey, you're season one and two. Me all these things. You know, so we, we want to know, man, what... Hey, well, through, not, through, where do you this? find all this? I've got my contacts. <laughs> so through all of this, yeah. you're going to finish the sentence. Yeah. Through it all, you have learned... Patience. Wow. Whatever wow. you do in life, patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no rush. No rush. Yeah. Mm. Everything will happen. And it's on right time. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you so much, David, for allowing us in your space. Sure. We wish only the best for you from today going forward. We look forward to interviewing you in like always 20 years' forward. time, yeah, you know, with your own forward. big dance academy, you know. So we look forward yeah. to that. Thank you so much, David. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, this is David Matamera and you're watching Truth Talk.